You said after you beat Loyola Marymount the other day that you wanted to go into the holiday with another victory. You got that victory. Yes. What were your overall thoughts about the way your team played today? Well, my overall thoughts, if I had to tell you right now, before I watched the film, I wasn't satisfied with how we played. Now, don't misunderstand me. To take that win at Christmas time, when I know the mentality of those young, young babies downstairs was just ready to go home or get on a plane or get in the car and go hang out with their family and their friends, uh, it's tough to play that last game. That last 40 minutes is tough when you know you're about to have a break. Uh, I don't think we played as hard and as determined with the sense of urgency in this game as we played against Loyola Marymount, but we played hard enough and long enough to, uh, to get the win. When you look at the score and maybe it's closer than you expected, is it as simple as what you're saying? Maybe the players are already mentally halfway to Christmas? Yeah, no, it's never as simple. It's always some underlying. Uh, to me, it's, it's about uh, how you approach it, which that factors into what we just said about the one to go home. And, and then it's the discipline. Because once the game starts, you can't go anywhere for 40 minutes. The next two and a half hours, you're going to be right here. So it, it, you might as well focus now. You take those two and a half hours that it took for us to play that game, I don't think our discipline and attention to detail was where it should be. But still, I, I still see this team here with Miss and Alicia, we're still finding it. And I think right now, when I look back over the last three games with, with Kiara Perry, she's filling that void. She's bringing us that presence, that energy, that fight uh, that, that Alicia was bringing was as consistent. And that's what we're seeing in the last three games out of her. All right, and you mentioned Kiara Perry. 14 rebounds for the second game in a row, three straight double-doubles. What's gotten into her, or what have you been telling her that's brought out this kind of performance? I, I want you to ask her that question. I, I will. I, I, I challenged her. I did challenge. We had an off. We had a meeting after film. Uh, I don't think she really liked what I said to her in film. And then after film, she said, "Coach, can I talk to you for a second? And I said, "Yeah," and she and she expressed that she didn't like it. And of course, I said, "I don't care." And that was me challenging her uh, to play well. And and it has lit a fire. And I told her, if it takes me lighting a fire or getting her upset with me for her to play like that, then I do it every day, all day. <laughs> In the first half, McNeese shot 22 of their 30 field goals were from long range, three-pointers. In the second half, only 11 when they were trailing and had to catch up. Was that a strategic change on their part, or did you guys do something different defensively to try to reduce the number of threes they were putting up? Absolutely. It was, it was uh, intentional on our part to take away some of those threes. Uh, they had 22 three-point attempts, as you mentioned, in the first half, and they only had 30 attempts. So 22 of the attempts in the first half were threes, and I think they made eight of them. So 24 of their first half, 35 points, was from the three-point line. So I told our team, if we wanted to have a, a horrible Christmas, to just let them go ahead and continue to shoot those threes, because uh, they would eventually make them. I say we have about, I think, the paint, Touch and score was 24 to 2. We had 24 points in the paint, a half, and they had two. And I said, we need to get to the basket, and we need to force them to get to the basket and get them off the three point line. And we made that adjustment, and, and it worked out for us. 48 35 rebound advantage. Is that where this game was won on the boards? Absolutely. Uh, this, this team here is tenacious. They're a very good offensive rebounding team, and we were aware of that. To me, they were a little bit better three-point shooting in the first half than I thought. But the thing is, we were giving those threes away. So, of course, they, they felt they should take the three rather than going and try and shoot against uh, Claire Bradshaw and, and uh, Steph Collins. Um, if, we, if we can dominate the boards like that, we're going to always give ourselves a chance to win just by percentages. Most of your points came from your three guards, uh, KP, Ari Whitfield, and Kenzie Adams. You also got 17 assists on 23 field goals. And a lot of coaches talk about the ratio of number of assists to field goals. Are you pleased with that number? Absolutely. I've been hunting that number for a while. To me, that's team basketball. Also, when you get uh, that, that ratio assist to turnover, I would say assist to a uh, field goal, I think it gives your team uh, confidence uh, in one another. Team basketball is going to win it every time, so hopefully we can continue that. McNeese's field goal percentage went down to 20 in the fourth quarter. Was that a defensive change from you guys, or was it them shooting a lot of threes and maybe some fatigue? Well, I think it was a combination of all those things. We were trying, we was constantly trying to make adjustments, and uh, 
make everything that they was trying to do difficult, of course. We definitely didn't want them to shoot any more threes. When they was getting the threes in the second half, of course, when they were down, I think they was rushing them. They were shooting them a little bit faster than they, they actually wanted to release the ball. So I think that's one of, the, one of the things that drove the percentages down. Coach was saying that you and he had a chat during a film session where he challenged you. Yes. Um, can you share anything of, about what was said and what's well, produced this stretch that you've been on? <laughs> um, it wasn't much said. I just had a question about something that came up in film, and he um, basically just challenged me to bring what I have inside of me out, and I've just been playing without thinking. I haven't been hesitant. I've just been having fun, basically. Back-to-back 14-rebound -back games. Are you going to start playing center now? I'll play wherever he needs me. <laughs> I mean, she says she's just having fun. She is. She's relentless right now. She's, she's a competitor. I mean, I don't care where the ball bounces. She goes as high as she needs to go to get it. Uh, she pursues it and pursue the ball as, as long as and as far as she has to pursue it. She's 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 our presence right now of energy, and if everybody can feed off of that, we can get to where we need to be. Three straight double doubles for you. Is this the best stretch of your career at SMU? How frustrating is it as a perimeter player to have to defend a team that puts up 22 threes in the first half and you got to chase them all around at the three-point line? Well, that's something we know we have to do. We work on it every day in practice, and it's, we have mental laps, so it's very frustrating. I know especially the coach. <laughs> Coach was talking about, before you got up here, Coach was talking about how this game was maybe closer than anybody would have liked. What do you attribute that to? Um, well, we definitely wanted to get a win for the holidays. So whatever we had to do to do that, to send Coach off on a good note and ourselves, we didn't want to go home for three or four days sitting on a loss and be anxious to come back to practice. So. Um, we just gave whatever we had and we came home with. Okay, so now you head off for the holidays, but you're a week <clears throat> away from going to College Station. How much do you, how much can you relax when you've got a road trip to the number 19 team in the country waiting for you? I, I want them to relax a lot. Yeah? But we talked about it, yeah. I, they gave me the best Christmas present I could have. <laughs> they gave me a win before the break. Uh, now I can come back. I, I told them I will watch this game. I'll watch this game tonight just to get it out the way because there's a lot of things that happen tonight that we can play a lot better. And I want to take those notes and have those notes and leave them in my office and not pick them up when I go home over the break and then come back and, and I told them when we get back what we're going to do. We're going to work. We're going to go to work. All right, when you prepare for the Aggies, how much do you think about what worked last year as opposed to scouting what they've done up to this point this year? Well, first and foremost, we're not the same team. Uh, we, we're, we're getting there. We, we, just, we have, for the last three games, we just got two players scoring double, di double digits. And I've been searching to get two or three. And now we got, Kira has, her game has risen to where she's getting, her last three games was double doubles. So I want to build on that. I want to keep building on that. Even though we want to go up and give our best showing against a and and is going to remember that we beat them here last year. So we're not going to sneak up on them. So the thing is, we have to be prepared. We have to come back in here. And, and I told them when over the break, you got to get in the gym. Because that's one game before we go into conference play. And we intend to take conference play very, very seriously. So we don't have any more tune-ups because conference is the real deal. Anything else? Good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you both. Everything all